Are you looking for a magical way to make your chest hair go from this to this? Well, this new bod blade sure isn't magic, but it is close. So if you've got a sprawling jungle growing on your chest, stick around to check it out. Picky Daddy, Picky Daddy. Picky Daddy. Picky Daddy. Hey, this is Rob the Picky Daddy, back with another hair-raising review of the best stuff to waste your money on. And when I say hair-raising, I mean that literally today. Because as you can see, the chest hair gods have unfortunately blessed me with their bounty. Now don't get me wrong, there are some advantages to having a hairy chest. For example, when it's 15 degrees outside, you can just walk outside without a shirt on to get the mail because you've already got a built-in sweater. And if you happen to be walking around a forest naked and hungry, bears will share their stolen picnic baskets with you. It's true. Nevertheless, chest hair can be a nuisance, and I hate it. Now, I've tried many other ways in the past to get rid of it. First, I tried regular razors, but after going through about 20 disposable bics, I gave up. Can't forget about the time in college I was stoned and went to the supermarket at 2 a.m. for Cheetos and Nair, and was too high to read the part of the directions that said, do not get on nipples. <laughs> yeah. I've even gotten it waxed. Katy Perry! Were you expecting me to yell Kelly Clarkson? So when I saw the bod blade being advertised, I thought, what could go wrong? Well, this is gonna be the first time I'm trying it out, so we'll find out together now, won't we? It's made by the same company that makes the popular back blade for shaving back hair, which thank God I don't have. The handle is solid and has a really nice grip to it, and it has two wide blades to really help mow down that hair. The blades are easy to remove. You just pinch this uh, tab over here and you slide them out like this. And it's just as easy to put them back in if you're putting in, let's say, a replacement blade. You just line up the angle and slide it back in. The package does come with a set of replacement blades as well as this precision blade for shaving sensitive areas like nipples. It also makes a, for a great shiv if you happen to get thrown in prison. Not that I would know about that. You also get this cleaning brush and this suction cup so you can hang it like in the shower. So that's enough small talk. Let's see how this bad boy really works. It does say you can use it either wet or dry. I'm gonna try it dry, so come on, let's go. The instructions say that if you're gonna shave your chest with this, that you should start in the center and work outward using small strokes. So we're gonna go ahead and try that. See that hair coming off. Now, I will say it definitely seems like you get better traction if you go side to side rather than up or down. So what I'm finding here is besides from the little bit of the blood that you see here, uh, is that the bottom part of my chest here, uh, it's easy to get off when you're going like this, but it's hard to do that up here. It takes a little more effort because uh, you can't really, just the way that my your body is shaped around the around the breast area here. Um, that it's hard to go this way. So I'm kind of having to go like this. So I think we're almost done. I'm gonna whip out the precision blade to go around the nipples now. All right, so that's about as good as we're gonna get here. Uh, for the most part, it shaved pretty well. Um, I did get a little bit of blood, as you can see. It does look like I tried to recreate the movie Fight Club in my bathroom. Uh, we did do this dry, so maybe next time I would try doing it wet to see if maybe we can uh, limit the amount of blood. Uh, as you can see, here's proof that it did take off a big chunk of hair from my chest, as you can see on the floor here. All right, well, I've taken a shower and cleaned up all the blood. Um, I will say overall, I thought it worked well. Um, up here, it was a little bit hard to get, uh, so you, you might see there's still some hair there that uh, I probably could uh, you know, continue to, to hack at. Um, but overall, I mean, it's a good product. It uh, costs about $25 on Amazon right now. I've put a link in the video description so you can go get one for yourself. So that's about it. If you like this video and can't wait to see what part of my body I shave next, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. 
But for now, I've got to go sneak out and look for the next best thing to waste my money on. So until next time, this is Rob the Picky Daddy. Bye-bye. Picky Daddy. Picky Daddy. Picky Daddy.